Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, thank you very much for your uh, suggestions and comments. So today I am going to repair one of uh, I issued one parcel today. So actually it has been set uh, two days before only. But don't have time to unbox this one. Anyway, uh, I issued this uh, parcel from uh, sorry for the address of uh, from the one who has sent, he is also one of my YouTube customer. It has come from MP Ratlam, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, well, this is anyway, we will unbox this one and check what is inside. Very good. Packing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, somebody tried to repair. See? Somebody tried to repair. This is uh, so. This is this is for ACF eight zero zero six model subwoofer, active subwoofer power supply. This belongs to RCF active high power sub high power subwoofer belongs to that this power supply belongs to that so somebody tried to repair it and they cannot repair this one as so says they send it back to me they send it to me for repair see some technician tried to repair see that the condition of the they remove to capacitor also so he has sent separately inside one pouch so let's open up this See, they have they tried to repair they could not able to repair it so the customer sent it back to me so anyway so let's check it out what's the issue in this so it's quite little critical because you know guys if it is tempered piece so it's quite hard for us also to repair it so the thing is when you don't know See, they have removed some IC also, some transistors. See, he kept it here. The pouch. They try to repair it and they cannot repair and they send it back to me. Anyway, we will check it out step by step. Let's just keep watching my video, guys. Okay. Let's see the downside condition. See, guys, very badly damaged. See, somebody tried to repair it. See the condition. So temperature detection sensor. There was one sensor also, temperature sensor here. That, that also they remove it out. And see how they fix it. So this is very badly tempered piece. Somebody tried to repair very badly. Anyway, we will try to repair. We will do our best to repair this one. So just watch. Keep watching my video till end. So guys, uh, the previous technician, he sent it like this without repairing, so the, the my YouTube customer, he told he has given like this all completely open, capacitor and some, he removed some, you know, that uh, PWMIC and transistors, see, these are the parts, he sent all this without, I have already removed this one also, so now what we will do, uh, I have already removed this one. Like this, this was before so this was all actually this is not supposed to be here it should be SMD so here damage the track also over here we need to repair this track also so what we will do I got the new parts with me this is the old all old one so what we will do we replace these transistors I got the two transistors this is uh, B, uh, BCP56 and BCP53 this is PN 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 transistor this is this is supposed to be come over here so the guys old technician he fixed this one actually this is not uh, supposed to be fixed uh, the proper use proper uh, uh, components so we'll use and also uh, there are two ICs uh, one is uh, uh, UCC3808 okay this is uh, low power current uh, low power current uh, mode pull push PWMIC this is and another one is uh, this is 4 
DF660L, 4DF660. This is actually this is a n-channel MOSFET power MOSFET. This is 8-pin power MOSFET. So this should come over here. Okay. This is the IC380 IC should come over here. And here this IC should come over here. And this four transistor PNP and pin should be here. So we'll try to fix it now. Just keep watching my video guys. So we'll fix all these parts now. Just keep watching my video guys. So guys, we have fixed all the damaged parts, two PNP transistor and two NPN transistor, one pulse width modulation IC and internal MOSFET, this one exactly, SMD internal MOSFET. So now we will fix the capacitor also from the dawn, we will clean this first, just keep watching my video guys. So guys, I have replaced the capacitor also, I fixed, fixed back the capacitor also. So now see these are the things I have replaced. Actually, this is not supposed to be fixed. This one, the previous technician fixed this one. So we have fixed that for uh, two NP NP and two PNP transistor over here. Okay, and uh, we have replaced uh, uh, the pulse modulation IC uh, UCC eight zero eight UCC three eight zero one dash one, and one is dual channel and dual n channel MOSFET. So these are the things we have replaced. Okay. So now we'll put it on and check. So what we'll do, we'll apply power now and we'll check the how is the condition of this. So I'll connect the power. So if the if it's okay, then we should get here green light. This light should illuminate over here. So it means that then our power supplies okay so just be careful i cannot keep this for a long time because there is no heat sink over here so this mosfet will get overheated too much fast so what we'll do we'll just put it on and check the light is on here or not so we'll apply the input power okay so we'll do some support over here so just i have done the support over here so that so guys, we'll now we'll put it on and check where is the status. I'll put it on. Okay. So put it on. See guys, light comes. So our power supply is okay. See light comes. I'll just show. I cannot keep this for a long time. See guys. So our power supply is okay. So I cannot keep for long time because we don't have the heat sink. So we put it off. So like this we rectified the problem very badly burn. I put it off. So guys thank you very much for watching my video. Take care. See you very soon next video. Bye.